Are you looking for that mirror finish in your paint? Are you wondering how professional detailers make paint look so good? Eastwood's Buffer Polisher is the tool you need to make your car's paint look perfect. Eastwood has been supplying auto enthusiasts with the tools to do the job right since 1978, plus the pride in a job well done. Whether it's to color, sand, and buff that fresh paint job or to improve and bring out the shine in an older car, this buffer polisher is the one you need to do the job right. And today we're going to give you some tips on how to polish your car. But first, let's check out some of the features. Remember, when your car looks its best, more people than ever will take notice to the work you did. The Eastwood Buffer Polisher is powerful and durable enough for the pros, but at a price for the do-it-yourselfer. It uses a standard 5-8 spindle that accepts 4-9 to nine inch heads, and it comes with everything you need to get started. A common 7-inch hook and loop backer to make swapping pads easy, a foam cutting pad, a microfiber bonnet, a cotton bonnet, sheet of 80 grit sandpaper, and a set of replacement motor brushes. A great aspect of this polisher is that it incorporates a soft start to minimize splattering and flinging of polishing compound. And the trigger lock is really nice when you're buffing for long periods of time. And you can choose from six settings to maintain speed, from 540 to 660, all the way up to 2800 to 3100. So you can lock it into the speed and not worry about burn through due to pushing the trigger too far. The handle can go on either side to be used left or right handed. Kevin Tates was recently using this buffer to polish his freshly painted Camaro, so let's check out his work and get some tips. Okay, so we've got an area about the size of a quarter on the big flat surface. You can always put more on, start with about that size. I like to smoosh it around a little bit. Buffer RPM can vary, but you always want to start out slow. Typically, I'm going to buff around 1400 to 1600 RPM, but if I'm in a tight spot or around a fragile edge, I will slow down. The important thing to remember is not to dry buff. This builds heat and that can roll the clear right off of an edge. Now I can check the surface with a clean microfiber. And I'm happy with that. That took seconds to bring up the gloss, so I'll give it a second application. Now the last stage is really not very time consuming at all. You're just kind of getting rid of a little bit of haze that might be left over in some corners. And the white pad is very, very soft. It's a polishing pad instead of a cutting pad. Now you notice I've left a little bit of haze right here. That's not an accident. I never dry buff. I always leave a little bit of film on there and that's where this stuff comes in. This is a cleanup and a detail spray from Norton. And it's body shop safe, it's non-silicone, and it's the next step in cleaning off your panel and really getting a good look at what's going on. Here, look at the quality of the reflection. Look at the distinctness of image. It's called DOI in our industry. At the quality of the reflection, you can see what was a very smooth finish laid down by the Concourse Pro spray gun and against this polished and machined surface. It's a night and day difference, especially on a black vehicle. So there you have it, the buffer polisher you need to make your paint look better than you imagined. Click the button to get yours today, as well as the confidence, quality, and price you expect from Eastwood.